My name is Elizabeth. I left home five years ago. My sister kicked me out as soon as our parents passed away because according to her, there were too many of us and we couldn't all live in the same house. But in reality, she expelled me out of jealousy. She said that I was mom's favorite and couldn't accept it. Hi, my sister, how are you? Hi, my sister, it's been a while. I miss you so much. How are things? Is everything okay? As you can see, everything is still the same. Yeah, really nothing has changed here, right? So it's true. So how are things going? And today, what do you want to do? Anna, do you remember that moment when Mayara kicked me out of the house? She had no reason to do that. She simply thought I was mom's favorite. Soon after our parents passed away and she took me to the street as if I were nothing, as if I were nobody. And I had no friends. I didn't know where to go. I felt disoriented, but thank God life is opening up for me. Now I have money and everything is going well. And now that I have achieved everything I wanted in life, I need you to help me with this thing. And I only have you to help me do this. My sister declares to me, you can always count on me. Oh, Daniela, look, I can't take this anymore. It's all on me. It's all my responsibility. I have to wash, iron, cook. No, I've worked my whole life. I'm so tired. Wow, I can't stand this anymore. When are we going to get out of this poverty, huh? Look, Mayara, I think you complain too much. We have a good life, don't we? At least we have a place to live and some food to eat. Do you understand? And another thing, you know when you say that everything falls on your shoulders. That's not true. I work a lot. I chase after many things. You work at home and I work outside. Well, don't you see that I am the one who washes, irons, and cooks your clothes and everyone else is in this house? So where does my recognition go? No, Mayara, I understand that you do a lot, but what I want you to understand is the following. I do what I can. I got a job outside to put food on the table. Since you haven't found a job yet, you do the housework, and preferably without complaining, because there are people in much worse situations than ours. What if we at least knew where that ungrateful Beth is? Ungrateful, right, Mayara? It was you who kicked her out of here. She just followed her own path. And you know she's probably worse off than we are. Stop complaining, let's get to work. Beat, what are you doing here? Hi, Mayara, how are you? Beat, my sister. Ah, uh, how is everything? My sister, how are you? I missed you all so much. I think you shouldn't have even come, okay? Things here are very difficult and we can't feed another mouth, no. Mayara, don't talk like that. You can't talk to her like that. And another thing, this house is also hers. You came to bring me another problem. You left with little and came back with nothing? What are you going to do about it? Wow, Mayara, I thought at least you would be happy to see me alive. How can I be happy if you're worse off than I am? And another thing, I've already said it, you can't stay here because there is no space for you. Wow, I never imagined I would be received this way. Oh, Betty, from what I see, always so dramatic, right? Can I talk to you for a little bit? Oh, Beth, listen, don't call Mayara. She hasn't changed much. She's still grumpy, still the same way you see her complaining, complaining all the time. But tell me, how are you doing? What did you bring her here for? Mayara, this is also her home. Did you forget that? She's just coming to visit us. I just hope it really is a visit. I'd rather have another person here than not. You know very well the situation we're in. So why does she come here? To starve with us, Mayara. You should apologize to her for what you did by throwing her out on the street. She feels really bad about what you did to her, you know? What bad? She didn't know how to take advantage of the opportunity. You know what? I should have left. I would be much better off. Mayara, we eat one, we eat two, we eat three, we can feed more people. Oh, Lana, you don't understand. We go through a lot of hardship here and I'm not going to take on that responsibility for myself, no. Myra, did you notice anything? You are very selfish. I don't know why Beth didn't insist on coming here to visit you. Excuse me. Tell me how life is going and why you are dressed so poorly. Oh, how good that you welcomed me with love because Mayara always came in with disdain. And I don't know what I did to her. She kicked me out of here and to this day, I don't understand. Look, Daniela, I was very scared, you know. I went through many dirty places with very strange people. So it was really difficult for me. Look, why didn't you come back here then? If you went through so much hardship, you could have reached out to us because no matter how difficult it is, no matter how cramped it is here and how much we struggle, there's always room for one more person. 
Imagine if I had come back earlier. She didn't want to see me even if I were painted in gold. Mayara doesn't like me, so what can I do? Look, Beth, don't pay attention to Mayara. If, by any chance, she doesn't want you to stay here, it's not a problem. I will go out with you and we will find a place for us to live. We will continue our lives together. I think that if we can, both work, we can at least afford to pay rent. No, I can't take you out of here. You are the one who supports the household. So if you leave here, they might even go hungry. Beth, but I prefer to support you than to support Mayara. Mayara is a very ungrateful person. Everything we do for her, she complains. So let me support you. Let me take care of you. I think I've taken care of this enough already. No, no, I don't want to take you away from here, no. Look, I'm already very embarrassed to be saying this to you and causing discord among you. No, no, I'm leaving now. No, Beth, no. No, no, we'll talk later. Look, Danny, where's Beat? She left, right, Mayara? Because once again you kicked her out. She came to see us with all the love, with all the care. Once again you pushed her out and she left, right? Look, I'm sure you all don't understand what's going on. We don't have money, even for ourselves. Are you going to suspect another person? What you don't understand is that this house is also hers. So you don't get to choose whether she stays or not. It is her right to be here with us. Oh, you want to know? It doesn't matter anymore. Has she already left? And look, it's not just her who's leaving, okay? I'm leaving too. I'm honestly tired of being here. Tired of hearing so much complaining that never stops. So you just stay there with the house, with your stinginess and with that annoyance you have, okay? I'm going to look for a place to stay because I really can't keep living like this, Mayara. Wow, I'm already fed up with you. Ah, uh, El, I'll be back soon. I doubt you'll stay for long today. Oh, so you really are leaving? I'm going, Mayara. I told you I was going and I am. Okay, and where are you going? Ah, you are going to cause trouble for your life, Daniela. That's for sure. She is leaving with me, Mayara. Ah, it could only be you, right, Beth? You came here just to put a worm in Daniela's head. No, Mayara, I didn't come to put a worm in anyone's head. I just came here to see how you were doing and was treated this way. And you thought coming here in that borrowed outfit and full of those trinkets that you were going to change my mind? Look, Mayara, it's clear that you haven't learned your lesson. You know nothing about life living in this little world here. I went out, learned, grew, and came back to help you all. But look, I see that you don't change. You are an extremely selfish person, but you don't need to worry. I hold no resentment against you. I forgive you. I came here because I know that you are still in a very difficult situation. And whether you believe it or not, I came to help. Look, Beat, I wasn't going to accept you here. For what? For you to starve along with me. I have no comfort for you. I didn't come in search of comfort. I came in search of my family. I came for the love of my family. But look, I didn't know that this was important to you. It's not important, no. It's all that I lack. Having you with me, my sisters, I received your affection. After the passing of our parents, we have to stick together. We only have. It's just us. But I didn't mean any harm, Beth. Believe me, I only did it for your own good. Today, I believe it was for my own good because only then could I evolve. Look, but let's put that aside. I came because I want to take you all to live with me. But are you sure about that? After everything I did for you? Yes, I think we can live together, work together, and live as a family. Oh, I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Mayara, accept her opportunity. I can hardly wait for all of us to change our lives. So what do you all think? I believe we will all be there. So let's go. I want to show you the light apartment where I live in the city. Are you trying to say that you're going to get rid of this poverty? Is that it? Yes, Mayara, it's more or less that. Thank you.